In this video, we will show you how to replace your engine crank position sensor on this Ford Flex. This will be located under the front of your vehicle next to your front catalytic converter. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. Carefully make your way underneath the vehicle. Make sure that your exhaust is cool to the touch. Once you've done that, we're going to continue on to removing a 10 millimeter headed bolt down along the bottom of this shield. And then you'll also remove the 10 millimeter headed nut up along the top. Now we can remove the shield. Set that aside. Now with that shield out of the way, let's continue on with a pick. We want to carefully remove this protective boot that's covering the sensor. We'll just gently pop this out of place. Now in that boot, you'll find that it has a slot that you can fit the wiring through. Go ahead and separate that and set the boot aside. The next thing you want to do is carefully reach your finger up inside here and find the crankshaft position sensor bolt. We'll use a 7 millimeter to remove this. Now we can carefully start unscrewing the rest of this bolt. You will find that it is a captured bolt stuck in the sensor. Now as we're pulling this out, we'll also pull out the sensor at the same time. Now with it out in this position, we have a nice clear view of it. Let's continue with the electrical connector. For this, where my thumb is, there's a small squeeze tab. You can squeeze that in and gently pull this out of place. Go ahead and give that wiring harness a quick inspection. Make sure you don't see any funny colors. If you do, that's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our crank position sensor. To start this process, let's make sure that we connect it into the electrical connector first. Press it in, listen for a click, and make sure it's secure. Otherwise, you'll have a check engine light. Let's take this and put that sensor in position. There we are. Now, once you have the crank position sensor lined up with its corresponding hole, go ahead and start pushing this in. But keep in mind, you also have to align that mounting bolt hole. Now that I've got this mounting bolt started in here, I'm just going to try to bottom it out as much as possible with my fingers, a little easier this way. Once I've done that, I'll snug it up and then torque it to 89 inch pounds. All right, there's that. on here with my torque wrench. Now once you have that torqued, continue on to your rubber protective boot. We'll make sure that we slide the wiring through the slot that's in the boot itself. And now we can press this into the engine close to the transmission bell housing.
Make sure that's secure all the way around. Let's get our protective shield back in place. We'll slide that over the upper stud. Start on our mounting nut. Once that one's started, we can move down along the bottom. We'll start in that mounting bolt. At this point, you can bottom each of these out and then torque them to 89 inch pounds. Okay friends, we fully installed our crankshaft position sensor. At this point, carefully make your way out from underneath the vehicle, start it up, let it run for a little while. Make sure it runs good without a misfire and no check engine light, and then take it for a road test. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.